What's up, Internet? This is Hourglass Gaming. Um, this is a new project to try and bring Titanfall gameplay from the Xbox One to YouTube as well as to provide commentary and news. I was largely inspired to do this by the Battlefield gameplay channels run by Level Cap Gaming and Matimio, both of whom I've followed for about a year and whose videos I really enjoy. Um, neither of them knows who I am, so they in no way endorse the channel. Uh, I just enjoy their gameplay and commentary. So I will leave a link below for anyone who's interested in seeing what they have to offer. I am not exactly sure where this channel is going to go. Titanfall, despite how much I love it, is a really bare bones title. Um, and it doesn't have the kind of variety that games like Battlefield do. Um, and so with Battlefield, there's a spectacular array of customization options that lend themselves to a long exploration of all the nooks and crannies that the game has to offer. And there are literally thousands of different possible variations to choose from when you're setting up a loadout in Battlefield. And so that allows for series like Level Cap's Loadout and Matimio's Terrible Weapon Challenge um, to have some longevity as they explore all the different combinations um, that they can put together in those games. Titanfall only has one basic weapon of each kind of weapon in the game. Um, there's one fully automatic assault rifle, one burst fire rifle, two semi-automatic um, rifles. And so, and that continues on in Titan primary weapons, um, Titan ordnance, pilot primary weapons, pilot secondaries and anti-tightening weapons, all of it has basically one version of all the different kinds of weapons available. Um, and so I don't know that something like Loadout or the Terrible Weapon Challenge would really be able to be feasible in a Titanfall channel just because um, Titanfall doesn't have the sort of variety to support those. Um, so I'm not sure where this channel is going to go. Um, we'll start out with weapon reviews and um, game mode and content reviews for now. Um, and then as the channel sort of comes into its own, then we can start to explore different kinds of things. Um, so if anyone has any suggestions for the kind of gameplay they'd like to see or um, the kind of web series that you'd like to watch, then I am perfectly open to suggestions. Um, also, if anyone has any Titanfall or gaming related questions or suggestions about how to improve the game or an upcoming um, title, then I would be happy to give my opinion on those. So today's primary goal is to introduce the channel um, and then also to convey some Titanfall news. Um, so. On September 3rd, the Titanfall news page was updated, um, and that gave us our first look at the upcoming DLC, IMC Rising. Um, the developers gave us a look at the map Blackwater, um, which at first glance bears resemblance to a lot of the maps that are centered around militia-controlled towns um, like Colony and Nexus. The developers had this to say. Backwater is defined by its elevation changes. The rice paddies give Titans room to dash and duel in open fields, but gaining the high ground in the center of the map is often the superior tactical option. Meanwhile, pilots can travel underground through grain storage facilities to escape Titans and move from hardpoint to hardpoint. Pilot spaces were designed to be simple and compact, keeping the action fast and constant. Zip lines are used to allow pilots to cross no man's land from building to building. No Man's Land is a term we use to describe large areas without cover between two lines of combat, with the intention of keeping players fighting from designed strongholds until it's time to push forward. Um, they also said that the concept for the map was initially based on early concept art for what the frontier would look like. Um, so I, for one, am excited about the map. Um, Titanfall's designers are exceptional at their job. Um, there wasn't a single map in the main game that I was unhappy to play on. Um, and the map design has only improved and gotten more fun with Expedition and Frontier's Edge. I play a huge amount of Frontier's Edge now just because I think those maps are so amazing. Um, these kind of map previews um, came soon before the release of Expedition and Frontier's Edge, 
Um, so we should be seeing more about IMC Rising very soon. That's all we have for today, so I'll see you guys next time.